Hey guys, Joe here and welcome back for another episode. Today's episode is on none other than the wall breaker. He is fast, he is feisty, and he is highly unpredictable if you have no idea what you're even doing with him. Uh, introduced at Town Hall 3, uh, the wall breaker has six total levels and I'm going to bring you basics and pro tips to help you get from doing what's being done here, spamming your wall breakers in in order to have controlled method like seen here on using the wall breakers. So where do we start? Basically you need to start by opening up your barracks and looking at your wall breakers and also identifying the damage per second per your level of wall breaker. It doesn't matter what town hall level you are, each wall breaker does 40 times damage on wall structures. So with that being known, how do we know how many wall breakers to take per level of wall? Well, easily there's a formula that you could use basically taking damage per second times 40 times the number of wall breakers you want to take and it should equal out to a number greater than the HP of the walls. Or you could easily just go online and look up uh, cheat sheets like seen here uh, which can tell you how many wall breakers to take per wall or per wall level. A safe practice though is to continue taking a couple of extra wall breakers just in case until you get a better grasp on how many you're actually going to need uh, throughout the rest of your raid and you never know you might actually need some at the end of your raid in order to proceed into a three star attack. However, we're going to go ahead and move into the AI of the wall breaker and uh, I'm going to explain exactly what the wall breaker is looking for and how it's going to do or why it's going to do what it does. So the wall breaker looks for structures trapped or partially trapped by walls. So if you actually look at this image here, uh, the archer tower here is fully surrounded by walls as well as the mortar. Uh, however, I want you to take note of these tiles, which I'll get into in a later video on basics. If you place a wall breaker in the same place, it will target the first closest structure first and attempt to open the wall. However, it's easily sniped off by point defenses and or expos without a tanking unit in front of it or troops in front of it. So you can use barbarians in your earlier levels to do this or in the higher levels you can use a queen walk as seen here or you can use giants or golems once you get those unlocked. However, you have to have a troop in front of the wall breakers in order to make this happen. So as I zoom in here real close, I want you to take notice of the wall breakers timing or the slight time difference once they get to the wall and to the moment that they drop their bombs and open up the wall. However, they were missed by that giant bomb and able to be successful. With that being said, the wall breakers will not target empty compartments, meaning that as these golems go in and are distracting the defenses for the wizards to clean up all the structures on the outside of the base, the attacker, if his intent was to actually open up this compartment, he's a little slow on it because what ends up happening here is the high DPS unit and the wizard, they actually clear out all the structures within this compartment. And as the attacker drops his wall breakers, they completely avoid the compartment altogether and go to the next possible location. So as we move into the, the next raid, wall breaker fails can easily make or break an attack. And as I slow it down really slow for you here, pay attention to this golem as it moves in on the wall and gets struck by the archer tower. However, the wizard tower in the background is actually going to engage the golem as the wall breakers get there and destroy them. So let's relook this one and see where the attacker could have actually placed his wall breakers in order to possibly make this a successful attack. So if you pay attention to all the defenses on the outer ring of this compartment, you got two cannons and one archer tower that are all engaged on either the golem or the bowlers. Now pay attention to the splash damage in the background. You have a wizard tower and a cannon. If we actually place our wall breakers possibly here or even here, you'd have a higher success rate of opening up this compartment and not having to worry about the timing of the mortar or the wizard tower splash damage. Also, adding a rage spell to the mix, like seen here, you have a queen walk on a high level base, and the attacker is pretty patient by allowing the defenses to engage his archer queen as she's moving through. But the addition of this rage spell boosts the DPS of the wall breaker, requiring him only to use one max level wall breaker on this level 10 wall. So that's quite impressive if you actually have uh, the ability to do this, but 
The distraction of defenses is what assists the wall breaker in order to make this happen. So as we move into the next raid, this is actually an example of, uh, I would say, proper timing on use of wall breakers. The golems are down, distracting defenses, while the wizards are in the background cleaning up the structures on the outside of the base. Everything's distracted, and so it's three and three on both sides of the wall in order to crack open these level nine walls. So you remember how I said at uh, the beginning of the video, if you have wall breakers at the end, don't forget about them. Uh, this is just an example of one of those moments where I had additional wall breakers left over in a raid and I still had Valkyries on the map. And the wall breaker actually goes in and opens up these individual compartments assisting the last remaining portion of this raid to actually make it happen. So as you see there, all the defenses are distracted and the wall breakers go through and continue to open up these compartments as the raid continues even though it looked like it was pretty much lost about midway through the raid. So remembering that I had wall breakers left over actually saved me and uh, in this raid here and gave me the ability to actually turn it into a three star attack. So as the Valkyries here uh, cut through this wall on their own, I think I have one wall breaker left over to possibly assist uh, these Valkyries to move into this final compartment. And so as they take out that uh, army camp, the Valkyries start working on the wall and I kind of time it and drop that one last wall breaker in and it opens up that wall and actually assists the Valkyries in finishing off this base. Otherwise, the Valkyries would have been easily taken out by the defenses due to the amount that was left over. In summary, the wall breaker is the most integral part of a ground attack unless uh, you're using spells to assist your armies move throughout the base. Understanding your armies is probably one of the biggest fundamentals missed within gameplay in both war attacks and farming strategies. So tell me what you think about this video, drop some comments down below, and as always, you take care.